So your computer keeps on randomly shutting down. What can you do to fix it? Well, I'm about to tell you. If you have the exact same problem that I have, because you know, PCs. So this is going to be a short and sweet video, a tech tip to help you out if you're having this issue, whether or not you're in some racing or maybe you're just looking on Google to try to figure this out because I Googled this issue and I didn't find a whole lot of anything on this, which was quite surprising. But before I get to how I fix the issue of this computer, my editing PC here, constantly just shutting off and restarting or not turning back on, it was doing all that kind of stuff. Let's uh, go into the background story. So back in August, I started having issues with not only my editing PC here, but also my gaming PC where they wouldn't turn on. And after a couple of days of banging around in hardware and pulling out RAM and trying to mess around with stuff in the BIOS, the Windows repair stuff, it came to my attention that Windows had put out a bad update, the Windows 10 anniversary update, where it pretty much rendered my PC is useless because I had programs on drives that weren't the boot drive, which is a really silly oversight. So anyway, but there was a fix to this. The fix was going back and getting an April build of Windows 10 and installing it on both PCs. And even though it was a major pain and I had to go back and reload a whole bunch of stuff, I was able to get both PCs up and running. But that's not the ending because my editing PC here started randomly shutting off. At first, it just would shut off while I was just sitting here, you know, I was in the room working here, and it would just like restart, and it was like, oh, that's odd. And then, when I was actually on the computer and doing some video editing here in Vegas, I would render the video, and it would just shut off. And at first, I'm thinking worst case scenarios. I'm thinking, you know, it's a bad motherboard, Maybe the CPU fan's not turning anymore. So then next time I go and I'm, I'm looking in the window over here and I'm staring at the fan and it shuts off, and, but the fan was still going. I look at temperatures, you know, all the temperatures are good on the CPU and, you know, start playing around with RAM. Maybe that had gone bad, that little looked fine. So then it's like, what could this be? And then I was talking to Darren one day on Skype and he mentioned, well, maybe it's the power supply. And I kind of thought this, but I didn't really want to go to the trouble of taking another power supply and swapping this out. So I didn't for a while. And actually I went on the power supply here, which is a EVJ power supply. One of the best rated power supplies, by the way, that you can buy out there today. Really good rating. And it has a mode where you can go switch into an eco mode or non-eco mode. So I did that. And that seemed to make the computer last for a little bit longer. So then I was kind of like, oh, it might be the power supply. But eventually, the computer kept on shutting off. So finally, screw it, pulled the power supply out of this PC, went and grabbed the power supply from a pretty old PC that uh, I, I brought back from Darren's place. And this power supply in it has to be, I don't know, eight, eight years old, probably nine years old. I mean, it, it, it's, it's getting up there. But anyway, I put it in here and lo and behold, everything just worked afterwards. So, this is a little FYI. If you're having issues of your PC randomly shutting down, whether that's just at idle or whether it's at load like you're rendering a video, maybe you need to look into the power supply. Even power supplies with the best ratings, like this EVJ one that I bought for this, sometimes go bad, obviously. So, you need to look at it and you know maybe that's the case. And luckily, I'm still within, I think it's a three year window, I can go and RMA it, so I'm gonna go and go through that process and hopefully that all goes good. But yes, it turns out that was the power supply. So hopefully there's any of you guys out there in the sim racing world struggling with this issue or just maybe in general and you just search on Google and couldn't find it. Hopefully this helps out. Look at the power supply. Get another one to swap out if you have one. If you don't, well, if, if you kind of eliminate everything else and maybe you can go and, and bite the bullet and RMA it or call up support and they have some tests that they can go and try out. But this computer is a power supply and thankfully it's fixed and I can get back to editing over here because editing over on the gaming PC is uh, really difficult. It's not really set up for that very well. So 
much happier to be over here and this PC working again. So, as always, thanks for watching Inside Sim Racing. If this video helps you out, please like it. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you have any other PC-related things that like you've had PC shutting down, and maybe it was a different solution to this like similar problem, go ahead and put it in the comments section. Let's try to help out others who come here trying to find answers. Also, check out our website, isrtv.com, for news, reviews, and our forums, which also have tech talk type stuff like this. And then also check out the Amazon affiliate links in the description below. Click on the link, shop through Amazon. We get kicked back a little bit. So if this video helped out, please help us out. So as always, thanks for watching Inside Sim Racing. See you guys next time.